Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to use the vintage travel poster Photoshop action. Before we get started, let's view a few examples. With this action, you simply need to open your favorite travel photograph, load up the files and run the action. And once the effect gets applied, we'll get something like this. Let's view a few more examples. You'll get various layers of complexity with these artwork elements that you can customize once the action is finished applying the effect. Also, you'll get various very popular color effects built in into this action. I'll go over the details once we run the action and show you the various elements that will be generated. You can add some texts to spice things up. Alright, so let's load up our image and start applying the action. I'll take this image, I'll simply drag and drop it into Photoshop and then I'll go ahead and load my main files. Simply go to file and select open, browse through your folders, go into the download package, go inside this folder, install files inside. Over there you will find two files, one is the action file and the other is the pattern file. Simply select both of them and select open and the files will be loaded into Photoshop. Now you want to bring up your actions panel for that simply go to window actions and your action panel will pop up and over there you will find that the Photoshop action has been already loaded. Now before applying the action you simply need to keep few things in mind and make sure the settings are correct. First, go to image, mode and make sure RGB color and 8 bits per channel is selected. Then click this flyout menu and click this panel options and make sure use default masks on fill layers and add copy to copy layers and groups are checked. Next about image size, this effect works best with images having size around 2000 to maybe 4000 pixels. So if your image is too small, you can simply go to image, image size and whatever your shorter size is, you can increase it to around maybe around 2000 pixels or 4000 pixels, it will do. So this image already falls within the sweet spot, so I'll let it be and click OK. Now all you need to do is select the action, make sure you're not selecting the action set but the action and hit play. It will take some time for the action to finish processing, we'll fast forward from here and get back when it's done. Well the action has finished applying and we have got our final result. Let me collapse this actions panel and zoom in a bit so that you can better see the details. Alright, so the very first thing in a usual travel poster that you would like to do is maybe add a text. So the placeholder text layer is already selected. You can see here, add your text here. It's already selected. Simply take your type tool, click on your canvas, take your favorite font, select a color and maybe start typing. So you can get all fancy here, you can go inside this blending options, add a drop shadow, whatever feels good to you. Alright, now I'll show you the different elements that have been generated by the action. So firstly, this is just a background base. 
in case you want to hide some parts of the core artwork layer so that's there it doesn't serve any purpose as of now but it's just there in case you need it so over here this is the core art effects and here we have five different layers based on the complexity of the elements that are generated let me zoom in so that you might be able to see the differences that these layers have so this is the default this is the most complex this is a kind of medium this is simple and this is minimal so based on your personal preference you might want to turn any one of them on you can simply toggle this visibility icon and also you can mix and match different layers by simply painting on the layer mask now if you paint on a layer mask with black it hides and if you paint on a layer mask with white it will show so let's say you want to keep the tram from this minimal layer but you want to have everything from this default layer so what you can do is you can simply select the layer mask of this default layer take your brush and make sure color black is selected and then selecting the layer mask simply paint on the tram and you will see that it will reveal the tram from the underlying layer which is minimal in this case it can be anything so you can mix and match and if you have any imperfections in the image you can also get rid of those just following this method like take for example if i zoom in a bit here this color of the sky kind of leaks in to this architecture for this default but if i check this complex layer you'll see that the color is more or less correct so what we can do is we can simply select the layer mask of this default layer again take color black and a brush and paint over here so that we reveal the layer which is lying just below this one and we are doing that because the colors are more or less correct also there is another way you can solve this issue if you face this take for example again over here you can see that the color is the sky color is again leaking into this building you can do this you can simply create a new layer take your brush hold all your options on your keyboard and select this color from this architecture which is kind of a beige color make sure you change the blending mode of this layer to your color and then start painting and you can see that this is correcting this color leakage over here so you can follow this method also if you want okay so let me collapse this group we're also done with the text group you can add as many text layers as you can over here i'll collapse this one and we have frames over here so these are experimental frames if you want to post it just like that without any frames so you can try any one of those by the way this pack also contains two premium frame mockups which i'll go over after i'm done explaining these layers so here are five different types of frames you can turn any one of them on now these are textures if you want you can turn the visibility on and off with the textures off you will have a more cleaner approach on the artwork next we have 10 color presets these are handcrafted vintage colors that you see very often in these type of vintage travel posters so i'll simply collapse these groups quickly okay so let's toggle the visibility of these groups one by one and have a look you can also combine them together just like this you can see the difference it makes and also you can combine these color presets with the color tones i'll also collapse these groups quickly they're kind of like fine-tuned layers on top of these color presets you can mix and match them if you want and get that perfect look that you are looking for i'll hide them for now and over here we have default color tones so it's better kept as it is but if you think it's too harsh you can maybe change the opacity to tweak them a bit then we have overall adjustments and you can always play with these usual settings to get that look you're looking for and also fine-tune your final composition we have overall curves we have overall channel mixer 
overall selective color you can go inside these different channels and play with them you can see how they affect the overall composition this can be very handy if you're trying to create something unique then we have overall color balance overall brightness and contrast gradient map you can double click here and change the color of this gradient map to anything that you like then we have hue saturation you can go all wacky with this hue saturation if you want and overall vibrance okay so that's it for the action and now let me quickly show you the mockup file that's been also bundled in this action pack here you have one psd file that is poster frame mockup you can double click to open the file and over here you have two styles one is vertical and one is horizontal and in each of them you have got two kind of frames one is dark and the other one is light now let me show you how you can change the image these are smart objects so you can simply double click here to open the smart object edit window and over there you can save your file and then you can place it here i already have my file saved so i'll simply drag and drop it over here you can adjust it just like the way you want to and then go to file save and close your smart object and you will see that the image has been updated into your mock-up you can now again switch the frames if you want to and you can also change the background color and I have placed some background textures over here you can get rid of the textures and you can also place your own background image over here as well okay so that's all for the vintage travel poster photoshop action i hope you like this one i'll see you in my next video and till then stay creative